What's up guys, it's your favorite Kiwi coach and give me six months of your time and I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. So welcome back. In this particular video, we are gonna be doing a very popular video series that was on our membership site that we are refilming, and that is gonna be our checkpoint webinars. By far, whenever I take a look at the analytics of videos that are the most watched and have the most watch time on our membership site, it is the checkpoint webinars. And to me, as a golf instructor, it makes complete sense because you guys out there want to know exactly what you guys should be looking for when you're looking at your own golf swings and you wanna know the exact checkpoint parameters. So that's exactly why I wanted to update the checkpoint webinars because I thought that they were great, the ones that are currently on the membership site, but I do believe they could be a lot more detailed. So they're gonna be longer this time. And as well, the way that they were structured last time I think was okay, but this time we're gonna be structuring them completely different as well. So let's get into how we're gonna be structuring the checkpoint webinars this time around. So the way that we structured the checkpoint webinars last time on our membership site was we went from P1 to P10. We did that for irons and drivers from the down line and face on views. And in each position, I highlighted right around two to three checkpoints that we typically talk about in our lessons. And that was the structure, which I thought was quite good. Now, over doing many lessons, as well as hearing many comments from you guys on the membership site, I found that we should probably restructure it to where, instead of doing it the old way, we should go over each body part that we typically talk about in lessons and then have an individual video for each body part. So that's gonna be exactly the way that we structure these new checkpoint webinars for the membership site. On top of doing checkpoint webinars for each body part, we're also going to be doing from the down line and face on view for each body part. We'll be doing it for irons and drivers for each body part. And then also we're gonna be doing it from P1 through P10. So in that sense, it's gonna be pretty similar to the old checkpoint webinars. However, this case, when you're on the membership site and you're searching, you know, I wonder what the hand positioning should look like throughout the backswing. You will be searching for that video as opposed to just P1 through P10 iron checkpoint webinars. So I think that in terms of a search sense, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to search for exactly what you guys want to look for. And then also it's just gonna be much easier for you guys to apply as well because it's for each individual body part. Now, once we've gone through and filmed each body part, we will also be going over typical swing motion checkpoints that you guys would also probably want to know. So if you guys wanna know the exact checkpoints for shallowing, if you guys wanna know the exact checkpoints for let's say left side bin, if you guys wanna know the exact checkpoints for handle first, we will also be doing those videos separately to the body checkpoint videos. And they're probably gonna be the same checkpoints that you'll see in the body checkpoint videos. However, again, in terms of a search sense, we're hoping that this will be easier for you guys to find the information because you could be like, hey, you know, I wanna know exactly what I should do for shallowing. You can type that into the search bar and then you'll get the checkpoints for those specific videos on shallowing. And it's gonna to add to what we already did with the individual videos for each body part. So that's pretty much what we're doing so far. Let's start getting into what is the topic of this particular video. So for this particular video, we are gonna be taking a look at the down the line view. This is going to be the checkpoints for irons and wedges and specifically for the body part of hands. So where should the hands be throughout the backswing, throughout the downswing? This is going to be the checkpoint webinar for that, for the down the line view from position one all the way to position 10. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and go to our professional golfer here and let's go start taking a look at the checkpoints. All right, so the first checkpoint we're gonna get into in terms of hand positioning is going to be position one from this down the line view. So when we're talking about hand position at position one, it's really how far away should I be standing from the golf ball? Should my hands be outside the toes? Should it be inside the toes? Where should my hands be? That's exactly what we're about to start answering. So the way that we check for this is we go ahead and draw a line from a specific reference point. And the reference point is going to be where the pinky finger and the pointer finger and the right and left hands meet. That will be our reference point. So we draw a line starting from that point and we draw it all the way down to the ground. And this tells us where our hands are currently positioned at position one. So if you take a look at where my hands currently are, and by the way, the pro golfer is gonna be myself for the down the line view for irons and wedges. But if we take a look at where my hands are particularly positioned, it's right around the balls of the foot. That is going to be the outer limit in terms of how close can your hands be to your body when you're hitting an iron and a wedge. So that's gonna be exactly where you wanna be. Now, if I go draw another line over here and I put it positioned right around the toe line, 
that would be basically how far away from the body your hand should be at that particular point. You don't wanna go outside of that. So if you take a look at these two green lines, if your hands right where your pinky finger and your pointy finger meet are positioned anywhere between those two lines, you guys are okay, you're within the okay checkpoint parameters. And that concludes the first checkpoint for this particular video. So now we're getting into the second checkpoint of this particular video and it's gonna be at position two. So that is when the club shaft is parallel to the ground. That is gonna be position two. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to go to our reference point, which is going to be the center point of the hands. So where the hands meet on the grip, that little center point, draw a line perpendicular to the ground and then reference where that line is relative to the toe line. And that's gonna tell you exactly where your hands are at this particular point in the golf swing. So if we take a look at where my hands are, they're roughly right around a golf ball or about half a golf ball in front of the toes. So you're probably wondering is if that is good or not. So let's start to get into the okay checkpoint parameters. So if I draw a line from the toe line straight up, and then if I draw another line right around maybe two to three golf balls away from the toes, so right around here, anywhere within these two lines, if the center point of the hands is situated around there, you're gonna be in the okay checkpoint parameters. So if I use a little circle here as kind of the center point, if my hands were over here, this would be outside the checkpoint parameters. Your hands would be too far away from your body at this particular point in the golf swing. If I had the center point of the hands over here, that would be too far behind you wouldn't wanna be there either as well. You'd be outside the checkpoint parameters. So long as the center point of the hands are anywhere from on the toe line to maybe two to three golf balls outside the toe line, within these green lines that you see, you're gonna be within the okay checkpoint parameters. And that's exactly where your hand should be at position two. So now we're gonna be moving into our third checkpoint of this particular video, and that's gonna be the hand positioning at position three. Where should my hands be relative to the body? So if you guys are catching the trend to these checkpoint webinars, the first step you have to do is figure out what is gonna be our reference point. So in this particular case, if we take a look at where the pinky finger and the pointer finger in the right hand and left hand meet on the grip, that's gonna be our reference point. So if I draw a line from that point, straight perpendicular to the ground, that's going to be where my hands are currently situated relative to kind of my chest area. If we take a look at where mine are situated, they're situated right around the right pec. So I'm gonna get into the okay checkpoint parameters here in a second, but it's just really important for you guys to understand at home, that is the process that you gotta follow. Find the reference point, which in this case is gonna be the pinky finger and the pointer finger in the right and left hand. Draw that line perpendicular to the ground at that point, and then take a look at where that line is situated relative to the chest, and that's gonna be the process that you have to take. Now from here, when it comes into the okay checkpoint parameters, if I draw a line from my sternum area, or really kind of the buttons on the shirt, all the way to kind of like the back part of the shoulder, this would be the okay zone for that reference point to be within. So if I draw a circle outside of this zone, on either side, this would be outside the checkpoint parameters, you would not wanna be here. However, if this circle is either on the line or inside the line, that is okay. That means you're within the okay checkpoint parameters for hand positioning at this particular point in the golf swing. That is position three for where the hand should be situated at position three. Let's move into our next checkpoint. So we're now moving into position four. Where should the hands be situated at position four from this down the line view? So the first thing that we need to understand is what is going to be our reference point. So if I zoom in here and I draw a little circle on the grip end, this time the grip end is going to be our reference point for where the hands are situated relative to our body. So if I go and zoom out just a little bit and I go draw a line on that grip end and I draw it all the way down to the ground so where it's perpendicular to the ground, this is going to show me where the grip end is currently situated relative to my feet. And as you can see, it's pretty much right around the middle of my foot or just kind of a little bit closer to the heel side but pretty close to the middle of my foot. So you're probably wondering, is that the okay checkpoint parameter? Don't worry, we're gonna to get to that here in a second. But the important points to start is you need to know that the reference point is the grip end. You draw the line on that grip end perpendicular to the ground, and that's gonna show you where your hands are currently situated relative to your foot, so you can see if you're within the okay checkpoint parameters or not. So our checkpoint parameters at Kiwi Golf Japan are we like to see that grip end anywhere from kind of the heel line all the way to kind of the middle of the foot. So if that grip end is anywhere between these two green lines or touching the green lines, that would be okay. If the grip end starts to get outside of these green lines, that would be not okay and you would be outside of the correct checkpoint parameters. 
But when it comes to the hand positioning at the top of the swing, use the grip in as the reference point, draw the lines on the heel and the middle of the foot. And as long as that grip in is within that area, your hand positioning is okay at position four.